hello all welcome to career coach so today in this video we are going to cover historical and geographical background of telangana importance of telangana symbols of telangana and finally rivers and its tributaries so let's begin the video Oksar, Telangana region ganka choose kunte, it was ruled by several rulers starting from Mauryan Empire to Azab Jahi dynasty. So if we put it in a chronological order, the rulers are Mauryan Empire, Shadavana dynasty, Vakataka dynasty, Chalukya dynasty, Rashtrakuta dynasty, Kakatiya dynasty, Delhi Sultanate, Musunuri Nayaks, Recherla Nayaks, Bahumani Sultanate, Vijayanagaram Empire, Kutub Shahi Dynasty, Mughal Empire and Azab Jahi Dynasty. So, Oksari rulers can choose kunte, Kakatiya Dynasty is very important for in the Telangana region as well as southern part of India. And Telangana yoka complete art and culture we can able to see in the Kakatiya Dynasty. So, it is called as Golden Ruling Period. Ikada ema in the so, Kakatiya dynasty, how it came to end is very important for us. So, Ela in the day, Kakatiya ruling time low. So, Kilji and Tukluk invasions, Mana southern part of India low Jeriai. So, they, they firstly, uh, they targeted that in order to uh, set up their emperor, they defeated the Kakatiya dynasty and after that, they established their empiring in uh, south part of India. India. So, in the over 600 to 650 years, the people are continuously suppressed. Why is very important? So, here the Hinduism culture is existed in the southern part of India. So, but these Delhi Sultanate rulers are Muslim. So, the people here are unable to cope up with their culture and it also leads to the reason for the separate state of Telangana and it is related to the history. So, it will be covered in Telangana history deeply. Now, since 1947, the people in the Telangana are continuously demanded for the separate state of Telangana from Andhra Pradesh. So, it, it achieved its highest momentum in 21st century by TJAC, Telangana Joint Action Committee. After several revolts, the government of India announced the process of formation of state on 9th December 2009. Immediately, the people in the coastal Andhra and Rayalaseema, they started violence protection and the decision has been postponed to 23rd December 2009. Pranalanu, Balidanam Chesukoni, Chala Mandi, Amara Virula Valla, we finally achieved our Telangana state on 2nd June 2014. Next, the next topic is Telangana state and borders. So the key highlights is Telangana is the 29th state and it is the youngest state of India. And it is formed on 2nd June 2014. So here the Hyderabad is a joint capital of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh for the 10 years. Presently, Hyderabad is the capital of Telangana state. Now, if you see this image, Telangana. So, what are the different state uh, surrounded by our Telangana? So, the borders of Telangana state is to the north and northwest Maharashtra and east side Chhattisgarh and Odisha, west side is Karnataka and south side is Andhra Pradesh. So, these are the borders of Telangana state and it is very important uh, in the competitive examination central level as well as state exams. Next, if we see some important highlights of Telangana, as we can see, the capital of Telangana is Hyderabad. But before going to the statistical figures, we can see that, so the present Chief Minister of Telangana is our Honorable uh, K. Chandrasekhar Rao and Governor is Tamil Sai Saundara Rajan. And in Telangana, there are 33 districts, but earlier it is 10 districts uh, when it is formed in 2014. So, but exactly what happened? So, the 21 new districts has been formed on 11th October 2016. So, 11th October 2016. And after that, the people, the people's continuous demand, two new districts are also added. That is Mulugu and Narayana Pet, And it was added on 17th February 2019. So, with this, there are completely 33 districts in Telangana state. So, in these 33 districts, the largest district is Badradri Kottagudam and smallest district is Hyderabad. So, Telangana state complete area is 1,12,077 square kilometers. Now, if you see the statistical figures of Telangana state, 
there are 141 towns, 13 municipal corporations, 128 municipalities, and 32 Zilla Praja Parishet, 539 Mandal Praja Parishet, 12,765 Gram Panchayat, 593 Revenue Mandals, 17 MPs, 120 MLAs, and 40 MLCs. So, completely, so we can cover in the a political of Telangana. Next topic is symbols of Telangana. Here we can see the, the symbol of Telangana state. If we go deep into that, the outer circle is golden color, inner circle is parrot green color and there is Kakatiya Kala Toranam in the middle and is of in center to is there is a Charminar inside it. Now, above the Kakatiya Toranam, there is Sarnath Lion Capital. And government of Telangana is written in Telugu, English and Urdu languages. So, now for our competitive examination, the important question is, the emblem of Telangana is designed by. So, the person is Aile Lakshman. It is very important for our competitive examination. Now, if we go more uh, different uh, important aspects. So the language of Telangana is Telugu and it is taken from Dravidian family and the song is Jay Jay Telangana but thing is it is not yet declared and state bird is Indian roller, state flower is Tangedu, state tree is Jemmi Chettu, state animal is Machala Jinka, state fish is Korramenu, state fruit is Mango, state sport is Kabaddi. So here you can see the images of bird, flower, tree and animal of Telangana state and for our competitive examinations the questions can also ask it in this way so what is the scientific name of bird state flower state tree and state animal so you have you need you also need to remember these points then next, so what is the state festival of Telangana? Manandar ki delso, happily we will celebrate every year. That is Batukama and Bonalu. But for our examination, what is the important? So it is declared on 16th June 2014. Now the state flag. So Telangana state map with Telangana Martyrs Memorial. And manam starting Telskuna main nante. So the Telangana uh, movement started since 1947. The people are demanding, right? So, but the, the who is the main uh, persons are there? State revolutionaries, Komaram Beam. And if you go into the state women revolutionary, Chagali Ailamma. Next, state crop is maize. And holy places in the Telangana are Yadadri Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami Temple, Vemlawada, Kondagattu, and there are others. But in that, the very important is Yadadri. Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami Temple. And if you see, there are two important days in the Telangana state. One is Telangana State Engineers Day. We celebrate on 11th July, birth anniversary of Nawaz Jing. And other is Telangana State Official Language Day, 9th September, birth anniversary of Kaloji. Now, if we see the, phys the physiological look futures of Telangana state, here in this diagram, you can see that there are the different river systems and the forest systems here. And if we here, the distance from north to south is 770 kilometers and distance from west to east it is 515 kilometers. And Oksair Manam Juskunte. Telangana map lo, so it is Telangana is divided into three different plateaus. One is Varangal plateau, the other is Golconda plateau, the down one is Nalgonda plateau. So there are three different plateaus in the Telangana state. And what are the different types of forest exits in Telangana state is very important in the central level exams as well as the state level exams. That is mixed deciduous forest and moist and dry deciduous forest. Now the other important topic of our video is rivers and its tributaries. So what are the important rivers and tributaries in Telangana state? So he, he, choose kunte, there are two important rivers Godavari river and Krishna river. So, this is the Godavari River is a main source of Telangana state. But what actually happened? So, Godavari River is a catchment in Telangana area. Lo, largely, unna, we, the people in the Telangana, have a water river. So, it also leads to the separate state. So, our people could revolt. Ayar. So, uh, the tributaries of Godavari River is Manjira, Maneru. Pranahita and Krishna river tributaries are Tungabhadra, Musi, 
Dindi, Paleru, Bhima and Munneru. So, we will discuss more. So, okay, sorry. Manam Godavari River Ganga choose Kunte. So, what are the important highlights? Manaki Godari Godavari River Gurturagane. So, he points any Manaki Gurturavale. So, in Tidi, Godavari River is the second longest river and its length is 1465 kilometers. And it is also known as Ganga of South. And Iker Man diagram no choose Kunte. So, it, it's flowing direction undi. It flows from west to south direction and it originates in Triambak in Nasik district of. Maharashtra and it finally ends in Narsapuram in West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh and Ikaram, it is joins in the Bay of Bengal but it got a very important point in ante so in Telangana state where it is entering so it is entering in the Basara Nirmal district and what are the holy places holy places are Badrachalam, Basara, Vemulavada so these are the important points we need to remember now the tributaries the first tributary is manjira river so its length is 644 kilometers it originates in balagat range of hills ahmednagar district and it flows through latur district of maharashtra Bidar district of karnataka and it finally enters the telangana at medak and it joins the godavari river at kundakurti forming the triveni sangamam with harida river so ikkar manam choose it is manjira river and it is joining the Godavari river but it is also forming the Triveni Sangamam with which river? Harida river and dam so the, the most important very important dam is Nizam Sagar dam it is located on Achampet and Banjapalli village of Nizambar district of Telangana state and reservoir Singuri reservoir so the main purpose of this reservoir is is to provide the drinking water to Sangareddy, Medak district and twin cities Hyderabad and Secunderabad the second important tributary is Maneru, 128 kilometers. It originates in hills of Sirsilla in Karimnagar district. It merges Godavari at Mahadevpur in Karimnagar district only. And the dams are the Lower Maner Dam, Mid Maner Dam, Upper Maner Dam. And power plant can choose Kunte. NTPC power plant is there. It is located at Ramagundam. The third important tributary is Pranahita. Its length is 113 kilometers and Pranahita is formed, it is formed by the union of Penganga, Varda and Vainganga river and it originates in Madhya Pradesh and Sapura ranges. It flows through Gadichiroli in Maharashtra and Adilabad in Telangana state and it finally joins in the Godavari at Chennuru. And what are the important projects are there? That is Pranahita Hydroelectric Project. It is located on the Telangana and Maharashtra border slope. And it finally emptiles Godavari at Kaleshwaram forming Triveni Sangamam with Saraswati river. So, Pranahita river is also forming Triveni Sangam. Then, Pranahita river, Godavari river and Saraswati river. Thoti, Triveni Sangamam is forming. Next, Krishna River. The Krishna River is a second important river of Telangana state. So, Krishna River Gurthuragane, what are the key highlights we should remember? Mana mind lo strike hai poal. NTOV. So, Krishna River is a third longest river in southern India. Danjuka length in Tundi, 1400 kilometers. So, Krishna River is also known as NTD Krishna Veni, is, is also asked in number of examinations. And so it is, it flows in Western Ghats, Mahaleshwaram, Maharashtra. And when a competitive exam was to choose, I have a question kuda rava chu. Enti di, Krishna River flows in which states? Allah choose kunte, Maharashtra 306 kilometers, Karnataka 483 kilometers, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh combinedly 612 kilometers. And main Question in Dante, so where it enters in the Telangana state, that is Tangadi village of Mahabub Nagar district, and where it flows in Telangana, Mahabub Nagar, Nalgonda, Kammam. And it finally joins the Bengal, Bay of Bengal at Hamalsa Devi in Andhra Pradesh on east coast. So, this is the diagram. So, this is the Krishna river. So, this is the right side and left side tributaries. So, what are the tributaries are there to the right side? That is Ghat Prabha, Mal Prabha, Tungabhadra, Yona, Koena, 
పాంచ్ గంగా దూద్ గంగా అండ్ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ చూసుకుంటే భీమా మూసి మున్నేరు పాలేరు తిండి పెద్దవాగు సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ ట్రిబ్యూటరీస్ నౌ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ భీమా ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సిక్స్టీ వన్ కిలోమీటర్స్ ఇట్ ఒరిజినేట్స్ ఇన్ వెస్టర్న్ గాట్స్ ఆఫ్ భీమా సెంటర్ హిల్స్ ఇట్ ఫ్లోస్ త్రూ మహారాష్ట్ర కర్ణాటక అండ్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఫైనల్లీ జాయింట్స్ ద కృష్ణా రివర్ ఎట్ రాయచూర్ అండ్ ద మెయిన్ పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ భీమా ఈజ్ ఇరిగేషన్ పర్పస్ అండ్ తుంగభద్ర ఇట్స్ లెంత్ ఈస్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ థర్టీ వన్ కిలోమీటర్స్ ఇట్ ఒరిజినేట్స్ వరహాగిరి హిల్స్ కర్ణాటక ఇట్ జాయింట్స్ కృష్ణన్ ఎట్ సంగమేశ్వర్ కర్నూలు అండ్ మహబూబ్ నగర్ డిస్టిక్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ మున్నేరు వన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ నైంటీ టూ కిలోమీటర్స్ ఇట్ ఒరిజినేట్స్ మహబూబ్ నగర్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఫ్లోస్ ఇన్ వరంగల్ అండ్ ఖమ్మం డిస్టిక్స్ ఇట్ ఫైనల్లీ జాయింట్స్ ద కృష్ణా రివర్ ఎట్ ఏటూరు ఇన్ కృష్ణా డిస్టిక్ నెక్స్ట్ చూసుకుంటే మూసీ రివర్ మన హైదరాబాద్ లో పీపుల్ అండ్ సరౌండింగ్ పీపుల్ అందరికీ తెలుసు ద మూసీ రివర్ సో ఇట్స్ లెంత్ ఇస్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ ఇట్ బాండ్స్ అనంతగిరి హిల్స్ ఎట్ శివరెడ్డి పేట ఆఫ్ రంగారెడ్డి డిస్టిక్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఫ్లోస్ త్రూ కంప్లీట్ హైదరాబాద్ అండ్ ఇట్ జాయింట్స్ ద కృష్ణా రివర్ ఎట్ వడ్డపల్లి నల్గొండ డిస్టిక్ అండ్ మూసీ రివర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ ముచ్చుకుందా రివర్ అండ్ డ్యామ్ gandipet dam it supplies drinking water to the twin cities that is hyderabad and sikindrabad so what are the reservoirs are there usman sagar and himayat sagar reservoirs and tributary chusukunte aleru river marches chintalpur and the next tributary is dindi its length is 153 kilometers it also known as meenambaram it originates at shahabad hills in mahbub nagar district and it flows in ambrad nandikonda village it finally joins the krishna river at eleshwaram now the last important tributary of krishna river is paleru 145 kilometers it bonds chennapuram in varangal district it flows nalgonda and kammam it finally joins the krishna river at jaggayya pet of krishna district so with this we covered the historical and geographical background of telangana importance of telangana symbols as well as rivers and its tributaries now we career coach we taken an initiative to provide current affairs update daily weekly monthly wise so we will be providing to the whatsapp so if anyone are interested please drop a message to this whatsapp number 9908100133 so i hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe this channel and once again i am Re- uh, repeating that the timeline of telangana from 2009 to 2014 is available in this channel so please uh, watch that channel and the link is provided in the description thank you have a nice day